Google AFAM from Jerusalem in Israel. I'm Ashley, this is Josh, welcome to our channel. We sold everything we had to travel the world and now we want to share with you the way away. So be sure to subscribe down below, give us a like and hit that bell so you can follow more of our adventures. Let's go. As you can see, we are in quite a hurry. Uh, I'm not sure how it happened. We planned to get there 15 minutes early and now oh. we are almost late. I know exactly how it happened. Oh, don't worry about yeah. it. There's no need to go into it. This is all about yeah. it. Anyway, anyways, we are going on a free walking tour of Jerusalem. I cannot wait. I love free walking tours. You guys know that. It's the best way to get to know a city. We've been here five days, but we've been on so many tours trying to see as much of Israel as we can that we haven't seen much of Jerusalem. So this is it, this is the tour, this is our day to see what we can see. We have begun our tour at the Jaffa Gate. It's called the Jaffa Gate because it's off of the Jaffa Road which leads to Jaffa back in Tel Aviv. And of course in Tel Aviv it's called the Jerusalem Road and the Jerusalem Gate comes back here to Jerusalem. We're gonna learn a bit more about this citadel. I guess you could say that was built by Solomon. about 30-40 seconds that direction, it's going to be the Jewish quarter. From when we started the Jaffa Gate and to the north, that north, it would have been the Christian quarter, and yeah, direction is gonna be the Muslim quarter. We're actually gonna be in all four quarters on our tour today. Now we are in the Armenian quarter. Our guide has given us this handy little card handout, it folds into a business card as well, but uh, it gives us the whole timeline of Jerusalem from thousands of years ago up into nowadays times. And it's really cool, there's just, just a ton of information that he's pouring out on us. We've gone through, I think, like 6,000 plus years of history in the last 30 minutes, and it's awesome. It's, it's fun to be able to connect the lines and the dots. And I didn't know that there appears to be over 15 people groups who have conquered and taken over this land over time. I mean, not exactly 15, but a ton. In the year minus 63, minus 63, the Romans have taken over this country. The Jewish people are now living under the control of Rome. Uh, the Jewish people don't like that. So they rebelled. They, they rebelled a few times, but the most famous rebellion was in the year 66 AD. AD, that's about 120 years after the Romans had taken over the country. It, it takes the Romans somewhere between three to four years, and in the year 70, 70, the Romans are destroying Jerusalem and they burn the Jewish temple. Not only are they doing that, they tell the Jews, we're not just going to kick you out of here. We are going to change the name of your country from um, Judea to Palestine. It's the Romans who call this country Palestine as a punishment for the Jews. Now, the country really has very few Jewish people left. And the Romans said, why don't we take the ruins of Jerusalem? Remember, they destroyed it in the year 70 and build our own city on top of it. So they do. They build a new city and they call their new city Ilia Capitolina. This is the map of Ilia Capitolina, the Roman city that was built here in the year 135 over the ruins of Jerusalem, which they destroyed in the year 70. That's an original Roman pillar here in Jerusalem. Like, if that doesn't make you want to be an archaeologist, I don't know what would. Yeah, so basically the map they found on the floor and they had lost the city and they're like, wait, hold on, there's a city here? And they were able to dig and find it immediately. Yeah, because they just oh, keep yeah, building on top of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, we, were, we went on one side of the Western Wall, or some know it as the Wailing Wall, where 
Jews, they put in um, little prayers into the wall. Um, but one of the people were asking, like, what happens to those little prayers? You know, like the wall gets so full and so many people around the world come here. He said that every single one of them is taken out of the wall and it's actually buried with the Jews who are buried um, on the Mount of Olives right behind it. I never knew that. I always wondered, like, what happened to all these little notes? But they're buried in there forever. starting in the year 325. So you're gonna go in and immediately you'll make your way up the stairs on the right. Up the stairs of, wait, uh, why up? Because Jesus was crucified on top of a hill. And the hill is inside the church. Yes, there is a hill inside the church. The church surrounds the hill. I so wish we had time to go inside. Basically, it is a church surrounding the area where Christ was supposedly crucified and buried. Yeah, supposedly the church was built on top of the mountain that Jesus was crucified on and the um, cave used to be inside there where he was buried, but supposedly people have taken the cave with them as they visited. Like, like chiseled off parts of the rock stuff. So. so it's no longer there, but they built something in the stead of An it. altar now. Yeah, mm. so crazy. So just so you guys know, this is a two and a half hour tour and we literally have 10 minutes to give you guys all the information that we can. It is so hard because all the information I want to share with you, we just don't have enough time. So the only way you're going to get it is by coming here and doing this tour. We are back at the hostel. Uh, that was an amazing tour, actually. Probably the, one of the better tours we've had in all of Israel. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. We got so much history of the place, yeah. and man, down, like the old town Jerusalem is gorgeous. Yeah, so I would pretty. say if you're coming to Israel, you're probably coming to Jerusalem, but if for some reason that just didn't cross your mind, you have to come to Jerusalem yeah. and you have to go on a tour. Jerusalem just has so many of the amazing historical sites. That you associate um, with Israel when you're thinking of history. Yeah. yeah, so I would say to stay here at least like three to five days, at least. I think you could do two minimum unless you really want to dig into it. There's a lot to see here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the link for that tour will be in the description down below. Yeah. Um, thanks again to Abraham Tours and Hostels for having us at this place. It's our last night in our yep. hostel. Yep, we're leaving, uh, we're leaving, actually we're leaving for uh, Istanbul, Turkey tomorrow. Yeah. I'm not sure how much of that we're going to film because we're, we're relaxing and finishing work. We won't be filming much. Not so. a ton of relaxing will be done, but... There'll be a lot of work, but I mean like we're not going to be filming every day. Yeah. <laughs> So Anyways. I hope we encourage you guys to get out and travel today. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed the tour. There's so much more I would have loved to have shared with you guys, but we just don't have the time. And um, I'm not really a tour guide, so. <laughs> you have to go on the tour to get the history. So yeah. random shout out to our Patreon of the day. That is Geode for helping make this video possible. Thank you, Geode, for being our Patreon and helping Thank support you. this channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Shalom.